Welcome to the Writer's Life, the place where you get the sights, sounds, smells, tastes of my particular writer's life, and where you get the truth about the writer's life, and traveling, and eating, and all that stuff that I like to do. Um, I'd like to say skiing, but there's no snow. Um, smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, and hit that bell for notifications so that you don't miss out on one single exciting video and how exciting these videos are. <laughs> so uh, I've been working all weekend because um, I'm trying to get through the correction of uh, what I'm not sure if I'm going to call this new Marconi the naked and the damned or the damned yet. I'm going to consult with my editor on that one. I like the naked and the damned. You know, obviously a take on uh, mailers the naked and the dead but i think there is a couple the naked and the damned out there i think that's why i went and switched it to the damned but uh, there's a bunch of novels called the damned too so who knows um the point and the point of this video is that i'm starting to take care of my my backlog this book's two years old this should have been out a year and a half ago um, publishing and writing and publishing, I should say, are now balanced. Um, there should no longer be um, a lag time between the time you finish a manuscript and it gets out to the to the reader. Um, to the time, in other words, until the time it gets published, it should be you sh it should be published within weeks, um, one way or another, traditionally or independently, um, and. Uh, it's the great equalizer. And by having created, um, I don't know, like 20 manuscripts and just let them sit there, you know, like, it, it, I'm not taking advantage of that. So, um, like I've been saying, 2022, we're going to have at least a, a novel a month come out. And that includes a couple of traditional novels, traditionally published novels as well. I'm not so sure that publishers are going to be very happy about that, but, uh, that's the way it's going to go. Um, maybe what I'll do is, like, when Moonlight Kills, for instance, comes out, I think in January or February, I will i won't publish one of my books for a month, and that'll put more of the focus and more of the attention on, on the traditionally published book. Um, however, that doesn't mean I won't be publishing uh, short stories or uh, um, novellas, novelettes, short thrillers, things like that. Um... So, it's going to be a busy year. Um, and I'm also thinking of taking on, um, I for sure, I've given my editor many more duties. And I'm also thinking of taking on, like, at least an intern. Um, and if not an intern, then someone who can help me, maybe, like, for a few hours a day, that type of thing. So, um, I'm growing my business, you could say. Um, but because there's an awful lot of, like just stuff like marketing and stuff I got to do that just would, I'd be better off writing, you know, if I had that time to myself. So I eventually got to bite the bullet and uh, bring in some, some other, other employees to uh, help me out. Uh, there's just too much to do now. Um, you know, I guess you could say in essence, I need an assistant. Um, and it's time I had one, I guess, you know, I don't know how that's going to work. I guess I'll have to interview people and whatever, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm at that stage. So, anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Listen, I also wanted to mention my heart goes out to all those people in, in uh, Kentucky who suffered that uh, brutal tornado. Um, I think whole towns were lost, just wiped off the map. Just terrible. Um, death toll is terrible. Uh, anyway. Um, and did I mention, though, on the good side of things? And the good thing about international travel now, um, at least in the States, um, they no longer force feed you CNN. So to me, that's a victory. <laughs> you know? Anyway, I had to get that in there. All right, listen, have a great Sunday. Um, it's a beautiful day out. Um, take advantage of it. Hopefully we get some snow. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.